Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Now if you're new, welcome. We do movie and series reviews and monthly wrap up tier lists. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, consider hitting that subscribe button. So we are done with the month of January and that means it is time to rank all the new 2022 movies that I saw within that month. First up, which is the very first movie or rather anniversary that I saw in 2022 is the Harry Potter 20th anniversary. I cannot believe it's been 20 years. 20 years of Harry Potter, you guys. This is pretty much just like the Friends anniversary or like the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, you know, we just kind of get the crew back together, um, kind of behind the scenes. We find out something about Emma Watson and Tom Felton. If you're a fan of the movies, finding the books, I think you're going to enjoy this little anniversary. It's like a nice little treat. It was a nice little way to start off the year. So it was a really good um, anniversary special. I quite enjoyed it. I do love me some Harry Potter. Where are my Slytherins at? Moving on to Scream. 2022 Scream 5 however you like to call it um now this is the only movie for the month of January that I do have a review on because as a reminder I am focusing more on like series reviews right now rather than uh, movie reviews and when it does come to movie reviews it's just gonna be like the bigger kind of blockbuster uh, films. I really really liked it a lot. I'm gonna just say it was an awesome movie. I mean I don't think it was like quite awesome awesome. Maybe like awesome minus the exclamation point. I don't know you guys. I really enjoyed it. Um, but like obviously I'm not gonna put it like in the enjoyable tier. <laughs> and I think it was better than God. You know like I feel like now I need like a tier between awesome and God. I feel like if you're a fan of the Scream franchise you're going to enjoy this. Is it perfect? Absolutely not. I mean is there a movie that's perfect? I mean there probably is but it's not perfect. I know it has its flaws. Don't come at me with well it has this and it has that. I'm gonna go shit. I enjoyed it for what it was. I went to enjoy, a, I went to the theater to enjoy a screen movie and it delivered exactly what I wanted it to deliver. And it's one of the better January movies. It, honestly, it's the only good January. I'm going to tell you out right now. It's the best January 2022 movie. Uh, we had a lot of gruesome murders happening here, more like stabby stuff. It is very meta. It is very self aware. It does take it to that other level of possible annoyance. I mean, I see where the negative comments come from a lot of people. I just don't care. I don't care. This is my list and this is where I'm going to put it at. And if you want to put it under the okay or the you tried, then that's where you put it. A lot of the legacy characters that are involved here, we honestly didn't really need them. Honestly, the biggest standout um, was Dewey. Up next would be Sex Appeal. Um, this is a Hulu original movie. Um, it's a comedy movie. It's like a coming of age, raunchy comedy deal. It is from the producers that brought us Plan B, which I really liked that movie. It was really good. And also The Binge, which is not that great. I wasn't really here for that one. This was a You Try type of movie. Uh, basically, it's this girl who is like one of the smart kids and needs to make uh, this final project for you know so she going to like one of these like fancy university tech schools or whatever I don't even know you guys I kind of forgot about the movie I'm not even gonna lie but basically she has to do some sort of project like an app that will help her solve her personal problem but where she she's so well organized and so like mm, she has no problems except for the fact that she's never had sex so she develops like this app called sex appeal to try to have perfect sex and so she basically like cheats on her on her boyfriend with her best friend and they do stuff so she can learn but for database so she get put into her app so then when the sexy stuff happens with her boyfriend the app is gonna tell you how to I don't know you guys it's not <laughs> I think I may have laughed like two times the only good thing about the movie to be honest is that it's not the typical oh guy and girl at the end find out that they love each other and they end up together and they live happily ever after it's like no moving on to netflix brazen with Alyssa milano which i love i love me charm that's one of my favorite tv shows of all time you guys i did not love this movie if you follow me on instagram you would have seen my stories about how i felt about that 
Um, yeah, that's another you try movie. Might have been bad. Is it bad? You know what? We won't be we won't be mean. January first off, you know, we're we're not gonna be with that negativity of a bad movie. No, we will not. But secretly it might be really bad. The poster for starters doesn't even give you what the movie's about. I mean, it's a terrible poster, you guys. It really is. Brazen, I don't even know what brazen means. Was that her name in the movie? I don't think, she was an Arthur. She was trying to solve her sister's death. Mm. It almost reminded me like a female version of Castle, you know, like the Arthur gets in with the police to help them solve the case. Of course, there's like a romantic deal with a neighbor who happens to be a police officer, hence the poster. That's her, that's her neighbor. It's not even her neighbor because that's her sister's neighbor because she just kind of came to visit. We're going to move on because we don't need to talk about this. You don't need to see that movie either, you guys. Uh, last up would be HBO Max's original, The Fallout. Um, this is a really good movie. We're going to go ahead and put it up there into good. Now, this is a movie that's not going to be for everybody given the topic of it. Um, it is involving the aftermath of a school shooting. Um, now, this one is a little bit different compared to other movies because we don't see what is leading up to the school shooting. We don't see anybody get shot. We don't, you know, we don't see none of that. Uh, but we do hear it. Jenna Ortega comes out in this movie. I freaking love me some Jenna Ortega. She's like... A really great up-and-coming actress she's also in scream I did tear up a little bit in certain parts it did have me like laugh in certain situations like a whole like drug moment there I feel like it captured teenagers of today very very well I mean, these are the one two three four five movies that I saw in the month of January the new releases it would have been seven movies because I did plan to watch the 355 and um was that a moonfall but like I think like the day or two days before I was actually gonna see those movies like some people that obviously beat me to them told me that they were terrible and I'm just like you know what I'm just gonna skip on it because I'm not one that's just gonna go see a movie just to see at me I know I have a YouTube channel dedicated to watching movies and reviewing them but I just tend not to purposely go and watch terrible movies like that's just not who I am that is it for me today let me know down below what did you watch do you agree with where I put my rankings if you don't that's totally fine just let me know in the comment section how would you rank them what did you watch did you watch the 355 did you watch Moonfall should I check them out or should I stay away from them you guys all right of course before you guys click out of this video don't forget to give it a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. Until next time, I'll see you guys at concessions. Bye.